Hello and welcome to How to Manage Your Course Monitoring Discussion Forums. There are a couple different kinds of discussion forum that you might see in your course. The first one would be Announcements. This may also be labeled News Forum and it defaults for every class that there is one in there. And with this Announcements or News Forum, I renamed this one Announcements, this is where you would go to make an announcement to all of the students. I'm going to click on it so you can see. Yes, general news and announcements. Over here, this forum forces everyone to be subscribed. That means that any time the instructor posts something to this discussion forum, all of the students in the class will receive an email notification. So this is a great way to notify all the students at once about something. For example, here there is a holiday coming up on May 30th as of the recording of, of this video. And so, holiday discussion. The campus is closed on Monday, May 30. For the holiday, there is no need to visit the online course. So I can edit this, or I can delete it, or I can reply as an instructor. Students can't edit or delete. So that's one way in the announcements. Another one is the question and answer discussion forum, and this may or may not be a part of your course, but just in case it is, this is a forum where the students will be able to post questions and you will be able to answer those questions. There are no questions posted in here, but a student can add a new question and then the, the faculty member or the instructor will go in and answer the question or uh, the other students can answer the question as well. This one allows everyone to choose whether to subscribe or, subscribe or not. Now, you as the faculty member, this is the one forum. If you're going to subscribe to a forum, this is the one you're going to want to subscribe to so that you will receive email notifications every time someone posts a question to this forum so that you can answer the question as quickly as possible within 24 to 48 hours, depending on what you have put in your the introduction section of the syllabus. So this is what it looks like, actually. I'm going to have to go to F11 to look at my email. Here's one that I received from one of the students and this is the email that it, that it looks like. And here it says introduction discussion forum but this one if you get one from the question and answer forum that's what it will say which one. So you can answer the question in one of two ways. You can either go ahead and just reply to the email directly to Laverne DeFazio whoever it is that, that sent you or posted the question or you can reply within here and this will take you to the actual forum where the question was posted or the response was posted. So now I can go directly and this is the introduction discussion forum and I would be able to answer Laverne Wright directly in within the forum. So the other way by email responds directly to the individual and if you click on the reply, it goes directly to the forum. Another thing that I'd like to show you here, if you accidentally click on subscribe and you start getting a, a bazillion emails like this one, let me show you here in my, my junk folder, junk email. Yeah, see, I get, get a bunch of them. Then you can, through here, unsubscribe from this forum, unsubscribe from all forums. So you would be able to do that by clicking on that. You will be able to unsubscribe from the forum. Yes. Do you really want to unsubscribe? You click yes. And now you won't receive any more emails from that. Okay. We'll go back to the main page by clicking on my breadcrumbs and now we're back. And finally, the last kind of discussion forum that you're going to encounter are the two weekly graded discussion forums. And to monitor these, got a couple of different ways of going about it, but first of all, in the grading rubric, which we're going to take a look at, here in the course syllabus, 
and you go to Discussion Forum Guidelines. And here is the grading rubric for the Discussion Forum. Now this box here, this is how you're going to grade it and we're going to take a closer look about how to grade the Discussion Forums in another lesson. But this is where you will go to find the grading rubric in the Syllabus Discussion Forum Guidelines. And yours may look a little different from this one because these four, Engagement, Interaction, Participation, and Relevance, these are universal for all courses. Uh, you may have an additional line item down here that is specific to your particular course. So that's the grading rubric. That's where you'll find it. Back to the main page. And in the rubric it says for the student to receive the full amount of points for the first discussion forum, they must post their first response by Wednesday and for the second one by Friday. So it is highly recommended that you as the faculty member go in and take a look at least Friday through Saturday, maybe even go a little bit earlier Tuesday to see what kind of action is happening in the discussion forum. Remembering, of course, that the discussion forums are for the students to interact with each other. So the main goal is to monitor what the students are doing and to post responses as appropriate. You may want to go in and respond to specific people if you find something that is interesting or something that you maybe you wanted to go in and redirect if the topic is getting way too far off base, then you can redirect. Or if students are discussing and you may want to interject into that. So you take a look and see who's online, who's been posting, read them all, and as you see, wow that's really cool, I think I want to respond to that one, or ooh, maybe we need to redirect. So you do not have to respond to every single student, just as you would if you were listening to a conversation, you wouldn't respond to every single person. You would let them discuss amongst themselves. So that is how to monitor the discussion forums. Also, when you respond, you want to model the behavior that you expect of them. So if in your grading rubric they're being graded on grammar, punctuation, spelling, content, then you would want to make sure that you use proper grammar, spelling, punctuation, and content. If you are trying to teach them uh, ethical values, then you would want to use ethical language and methodologies for that. To reply to the main question, of course, you would reply to this, the main question. You go to the top and you would reply. If you wanted to reply to a student specifically, you reply to that particular student. If you want to reply to the thread, then you go towards the end of the thread and you reply. One of the things you can do too, as you see that everybody has got the RE strengths and weaknesses, you can change that. When you go into reply, you can change this in the subject. Right. Saying hello everyone, or maybe um, attention all students and then you can type in your reply down here and I'll type it in a language that they can understand there we go they understand that language and then I just see here's where you go send me email copies of the post of this forum or I don't want it post to forum and I want to continue there it is so I have made an attention all students get back to my main page, scroll up to the top. Using the back button sometimes will take you to bizarre places, so if you have an opportunity to go up and, and use the breadcrumbs, I would recommend that. And that is how you monitor your discussion forums.